Fear does not exist and you are absolutely right that you need to stop fearing every small thing in your life. The 50th law by Robert Greene and 50 Cent absolutely takes us to the next level. 50 Cent, a gangster of note, a top G, a person who has no fear, been through the mill, shot 50 times and came out alive, right? Robert Greene, a beast when it comes to books, education, learning, articulation of self. He is the best and one of the best in the world. When you combine these two into one person, into one book, you have the biggest and hardest book I've ever read in my life. Every single thing you have in your life is based off of fear. Everything is done because of fear, right? Think about speeding on the highway. The reason why you don't speed is because you fear getting a ticket, right? And you, let's say you decide to speed and you do get a ticket. You don't pay the ticket, right? Because, oh, you don't want to. But then you pay because you're fearing going to jail, right? Oh, you, you don't care, whatever. I'm not going to pay the ticket. The next fear that's going to come is them taking you to jail, right? Calling you to court. Why? Fear. But here's the thing. It doesn't have to control you, right? As much as there's certain things that are driven by fear, the fear in your mind towards different things, right? Speaking to that person you want to speak to, starting that business, doing different things and speaking in a way which holds so much momentum that other people are like, whoa, it's a bit weird. There have been places where you've walked or talked or just said something and it's of such high quality. But the people are of such low quality and don't know how to react back to it. They're like, what? You can't say that because they're down here. You're moving up here. And this is where fear starts to build up. You hear it the first time. Oh, they didn't like that. I'm not going to say that again. I'm not going to speak my mind because, you know, I, I believe that everyone has a greater self. But they're like, no, you can't force people to be greater than they are. Ah, uh, stay comfortable. You know, everything's good. No, something's wrong. And you need to leave that environment as soon as possible because there's something else that's going on in your mind, which is saying self-development is taking shape and form. Notice when you start growing, people try to bring you down in different ways, different varieties of reasons, right? From their self, self acknowledgement of themselves not being too high and you trying to go up and it now begins to really battle with their self and it's all a big thing. End of the line, you need to stop fearing things. You need to take things head on without that fear of, oh, what happens? No, you need to go and attack it like a rhino charging towards an elephant, right? Charging towards a lion that's taking his baby away from it. You have to have that fierce lion heart. You know, I say these things and I know that God will test me because that's how things work. When you say stuff into existence, it's tested. Tested so many times, right? Because when you decide that, okay, I'm going to have self-development, it's not the most luxurious cruise up a hill it's always going to be something that challenges you with things that are given to you every single day i want to be a patient person you're not going to be given slow dancing and lovely songs by i don't know who right you're going to be given people who test your patience test how how hot you get right when people are not doing what you don't want right people are late you're trying to be on time Things are not working the way for they want for them. So now they come to you and they're laying all these problems on you and you're like, I want to absolutely just, you know, like, oh, like, you know, you know what I'm saying. And that's how it works. You have to really stay switched on. In the book, Robert Greene and 50 Cent say you cannot be caught lacking. In the hood, not be caught lacking is pretty much going to a place of comfort and not worrying about things. I'm not saying you worry, but you have to be alert all the time. It says it there in the book, it says that's the one thing you should fear is becoming docile. And I find that so many times when I'm walking around and moving around and things are fine, and I'm like, oh, wow, I can relax. I'm like, oh, that's where the people come. In the book, 50 Cent talks about if you're in the hood and you start relaxing, that's when they catch you. Right, Robin Greed, likewise in life, 
you put off the brakes, take a step back, that's when the vultures come. That's when the wolves come. I've been looking at myself in a way whereby if I was in the wild, in the wilderness, I'm a lion, rather let's use a wolf. I like the woodlands. I'm a wolf. There's a pack behind me, there's a pack around me, there are other packs of wolves that want to take what I have and want to disrupt the system. There are other animals, bears, lions, tigers, whatever it is in the, in the woodlands. And my biggest thing, my biggest trait is perseverance and understanding how to handle fear. I spoke about Ant Middleton and the fear bubble. You have to be able to bubble these fears into small little fear bubbles, right? Jump into these bubbles and emerge victorious by jumping in and seeing that you are in a place of fear. In this book, Anne Green says, fear is your brain's way of saying, get ready, right? It's not saying don't do it, it's saying, the amygdala is functioning, your fear, of, uh, your fear of flight response is going back and forth, it's turning, it's saying, hey, 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 survival, get ready, something's about to happen, right? And over time, you learn to say, okay, how do I take this on in a positive manner? How don't I just sink back and be like, oof, I don't know what to do. You have every power within you to become the strongest person you need to be. Batman. In one of the Batmans, not sure which one, but he says, Alfred, I have to become more. People need hope. Your people need hope within what you're doing, within all the different facets of life you are attacking, approaching with the fierceness of a lion, boldness of a coyote. Right, you are relentless. You keep on going like a hyena and a vulture when they find something that they need to obtain. They will fight tooth and nail for that carcass. Right, you have to do the same. Work hard and put it to the man. Right, show them that you are the person you say you are, and every single thing you can do will manifest itself into this big ball that God has created. Right. The ball will glow for miles and miles. And when you enter into a room, your aura will be immense. You don't understand. It's not a selfish thing. The more you work on yourself, if you become a person who absolutely, in every facet of life, communication, money, financial, fitness, is so on top of things, people gravitate towards you and become inspired by you. I've walked next to the, the Gymshark billionaire and lots of different billionaires. They're the aura, man. It's like there's a ball of fire contained within this person. And now you have that. You have the ability to become so great that other people, they won't even have to talk to you. Just looking at you and passing by you and seeing, wow, a Ferrari at 23. A Ferrari at 18. What? Doesn't matter how old, how old you are. If you see that, you're going to be like, whoa. Hold up. I need to do something with my life. I can't keep on living a mediocre life. I got to do something. I got to talk to people. I got to, I got to make the moves. And you can make the moves. I believe in you. Believe in yourself. And let's get going. What I have to say is your boy Mastro, guys. The 50th law by Robert Green and 50 Cent. Work hard and fearless. Man, I also say, it's a boy man stroke. Lego. Ooh, 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 call me, call me, call me. Slip, jab, slip. I used to say uppercut, it's an uppercut. Uppercut, boom. Fanta light, bruv. <laughs>